Hello, my name is Pascal Petit and I'm going to read two poems. I'm delighted to take part in a cause so close to my heart. My first poem is from my collection Mama Amazonica, where the Amazon rainforest is a mother, my mother, in a psychiatric ward. It's a book where the exploitation of women is synonymous with the abuse of the natural world. It's crucial for our survival that women should have as much say as men into the future of our planet. In this poem, the Amazon rainforest is placed in a deep sleep state as my mother once was to treat her mental illness. Rainforest in the sleep room. The highway goes through the Amazon's brain like an ice pick through an eye socket. First, we clear her synapses, then she forgets her animals. Our bulldozers drive through the rainbow boa of her cortex like a scalpel. Those sleeping coils still dreaming up new species. Hallucinations we've blitzed with ECT. The bilateral current purrs through her frontal lobes like a forest of songbirds electrocuted by rain. Afterwards, her thoughts are nestless, except for a few chicks up in the last ironwoods, patrolled by park guards. Scientists climb ropes to monitor her stats, bring motherless macaws down to incubators, measuring their wings, weighing naked souls. As if she's a patient in the sleep room who won't wake. Her dreams, tree lines traced by the EEG pen. The only animals left a grainy films on camera traps and a recording of the last musician Wren whose still small voice is like the beginning of the world. My second poem is hopeful and is set in the Indian tiger forests of Madhya Pradesh where there are extraordinary birds. Green Bee Eater More precious than all the gems of Jaipur, the Green Bee Eater. If you see one singing tree, 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 with his space black bill and rufous cap, his robes all shades of emerald, like treetops glimpsed from a plain. His blue cheeks, black eye mask, and the delicate tail streamer, like a plume of smoke. You might dream of the forests that once clothed our flying planet. And perhaps his singing is a spell to call our forests back, tree by tree by tree.